All right, so this Honda Civic alternator and battery redo job with fixing burned up charge wire. We got an impressive charge right here. With a brand new battery, brand new alternator, brand new charge wire. We also found some hokey work with an aftermarket ground. They had the heavy gauge ground go into the outside of the transmission, and that's not good. It's not a good ground trying to ground through your transmission, clutches, Honda bond, all that shit. It needs to be grounded to the engine block. So uh, we went right to the exhaust manifold, which is right to the uh, engine block. And this thing's more than happy with that. And then your little wire should be to chassis, so that's down to the chassis. Um, dude, this is probably the best charge that I've seen on a vehicle in a while uh, with us moving the grounds around, right? Upgrading, changing the ground position, upgrading the charge wire. Oh, yeah, with some stereo wire. It'll be fun. Yeah. I had to pay $500 for my fucking alternator upgrade to get that charge ring. And I have monster cable, dual batteries, all that shit to get that charge ring. Yeah, but you also have an upgraded alternator where at idle. I don't I don't understand that. That at idle it's not working well as well. I know, the Ford does. So the Ford is good. The, uh, the Sequoia. The Sequoia I need to upgrade that all for Yo, did you see them senoritas out there, man? Huh? You see all those girls? Well, <laughs> you gotta get your radar on. <laughs> and then now you can see it's, 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 it's unwinding its charge, but wow. But it's still staying consistent. It's good. It's solid. It's, it's not like in the 13s. No, it's... I haven't seen it dip lower than 14.3, and then... Been, Within three tenths of it's the, fixed. It's probably never been right since this guy's had the car, but this is like the the second time I got to work on it. But again, I'm chasing someone else's shitty work. But yeah. now it's Gucci. Yeah. 